I don't want to get emotional. Why am I getting emotional? Welcome back to Millie's Mess. Um, so for this video, I literally love watching what people have got for Christmas. It's my guilty pleasure. But I actually don't really see those videos anymore. I used to see it whenever I was like a lot younger. And I'm like, oh my God, am I like really late to this trend? Am I like way too old? I am past my expiry date to be doing these videos. But I really want to do one. So I'm gonna. Really grateful for what I got. Super grateful. First of all, <laughs> my mum got me this candle and I think it is the coolest thing. And if anyone pisses me off, like if me and my boyfriend have an argument, I'm literally gonna be like, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> but it's like one of those candles that you can never light, right? Like, how can I light this? Um, and it's like super realistic. <laughs> it's super, I was gonna do that. That's, that's another video that I won't be doing. It's super realistic. So obviously like it's a mold of someone's hand, but do you know what's stressing me out? is like the mold of whoever's hand they did is it filed their fingernails properly? Like they're a bit wonky. <laughs> and I'm like, imagine if I got a nail file and I was just like filing this candle. Won't be doing that. But yeah, this is my candle. I've turned on some more lights, so hopefully that's a bit better. I got um like a lot of like bath um bath stuff, um, which I love. Super happy. Uh, guys, I keep saying um in every other sentence and I didn't realise like how much I said it. I don't say it in real life. Maybe I get a little bit nervous, but the amount of editing I have to do to just like edit out every um, like I irritate myself so much. I'm like, you said it one more time. But um, <laughs> I got a lot of beauty products, like candles and stuff. Um, <laughs> Harvey and I did a little stocking for each other. And I really, really, really like green tea. It's a bit of an obsession. So look what this boy got me. <laughs> I'm never, ever going to run out. I don't know where to put it. He's fueling my addiction. He's actually enabling me. I don't know how I'm turning this against him. That's a bit rude. Anyone want to share a green tea? Have a chat over a cup of green tea? Guys, I'm going to edit that out, but I said um again. And I also got, so I got um in his stocking again, like, in the stocking Harvey got me. I got a neon, is that how you say it? Neon, perfect night sleep candle. Smells like lavender, smells really good. And a family friend got me the neon bedtime bar foam. So <laughs> I'm gonna be knocked out. So there you go. I also got another candle from the family friend that got me the neon. This is, okay guys, it says over rose, which says it's over, uh, o v e r o s e. Uh, I, don't, I actually don't know what to say, but when I opened it, I thought it said overdose. It's <laughs> like so, okay. And my brother, listen, my brother is like so 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 talented. Um, he's an artiste, and look what he painted for me. I don't even think it does it justice. I actually don't think I'm gonna do like a close up of it. Oh God, like look how amazing that is. I didn't get any of that talent, <laughs> none of it. My mum's really good at art. My brother's really good at art. Just must must skip me. My dad got me sea perfume. He was at the airport and he messaged Harvey, like, I'm gonna get a perfume, like, what do I get? Harvey got me, like, one this big for my birthday, and now I've got a mini one. It's my favourite perfume. I've literally been wearing it since I was 16. So you can never go wrong with C Perfume by Georges Georgie Armani. 
my dad also got me so bless my dad guys i i gave him a hint i sent through that link with the discount code and it was on sale so i was like bargain but yeah i'm really lucky he bought this for me because i love it so much look at this handbag so it's Emporio, Emporio Amani Milanio. If I didn't say that, that if I didn't say that right, then have this bag because I don't deserve it. How cute is that? It's quite small, but I have a small head, so I don't know how you're gonna measure that up. Yeah, it's really, it's what I like to call chic. And do you know where this bag would look good? Harvey's taking me to Rome. <laughs> My boyfriend. It's taking me to Rome. I open this card. Don't know if you can see it. It says Roma. Um, I was like, that's a cute card. Have you guessed what it is yet? Clues on the card. I'm like, who's Roma? You cheat him. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to Rome in March and I'm so excited. Is he gonna propose? Stay tuned. <laughs> I'm going to Rome. Like I said, I'm just being spoiled this Christmas. I'm so, so lucky. So, 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 so lucky. My grandparents got me the Estior. One of them's missing. <laughs> Hold up, it didn't look cute if there's a massive gap. I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave in just me rumbling in my bag for this. So, oh God, got me the Dior Addict. It's like a three little set. So it's the Lip Maximizer Serum, the Lip Glow Color Revia Balm, <clears throat> and then like a uh, tinted um, a Dior Addict Lip Maximizer. I can't pronounce anything. Uh, guys, I actually do wanna, do you wanna say I'm extremely dyslexic? So, so feel sorry for me. That's so pretty. But I don't want to take anything out of the box. Like I've been using it and then I put it back in the box because I can't, Why, how could I take that out of the box? How? I could never. And my auntie, one of my aunties got me this bar foil. I can't pronounce the name because it's really bougie. All the um, bar foil. <laughs> Please, someone help me pronounce this. All the rum. I'm not gonna lie, I don't normally do this, but I've never seen this bar foil. And I googled it. I can never use this bar foil. This is the most expensive bar foil I've ever come across. So you bet your bottom dollar, this will just be a beautiful piece of decor in my bathroom. And Harvey will never touch it. No one will ever touch it. It, that's glass. That's bar foil. That's glass. So that just explains it all. So that is just going to be sat there for the rest of my life because otherwise I'm pouring money down, down the drain, down the plug hole. My other, sorry, my other auntie got me, it's like a box of the Umberto Giannani. I can't pronounce any of this. I'm trying to grow my hair because <laughs> this is an insecurity, we won't get into it. So it's the Grow Long um, collection, one might say. So it comes with a shampoo and conditioner, scalp scrub, it comes with a hair mask, I just used it, and a glow tonic, and hair styling stuff. I love it. My hair's gonna be down to here, watch this face. I said um again, but I'm gonna cut that out. I'm gonna cut that out. Oh, and my auntie also got me. Guys, oh, have you heard of Zalandu? So that's where you can get, that's where my um I found this bag and it was like 250 pounds and everything was on sale before Christmas. And I was like, so, yeah, this ended up being a hundred, I think a hundred pounds from like 250. Bargain, not a bargain, still very expensive, but compared to the original price, uh, saving that money. And Zalandu, the same site as where I found this watch that I asked my auntie for, for Christmas. For a little budget, don't worry guys, I'm not like, buy me this. I'm like, is there a little, 
is there a window that I can work with and I can, oh, thank you. And I will find something in that window. So same website and, oh, I literally, I love this watch. So this watch is Michael Kors um, and this is the watch. I'm going to do those fancy zoom in shots where you're going to see it. You can see the shot of it. So, got on a sale. But I don't know why they would do sales before Christmas, but thank you, thank you. But do you know what's worse is that I went onto the same site after Christmas and it had been just, of course, like they want to get the money before Christmas. So it makes sense on Boxing Day, they just drop that price. We should actually do Christmas the day after Boxing Day, so you just get all those bargains. But yeah, extremely, extremely happy with this watch. And you know, it kind, kind of, from afar, squint your eyes like this, close them. It kind of looks like a Rolex at first, and it's Michael Kors. And it's just so smart, you can't see it. I've been well and truly spoiled. Harvey's... Harvey bought me other things. This is the jumper he got me. Um, oh my god, and he got me shoes. What is going on? He got me trainers. I can't. I actually can't. I can't. I can't with this boy. How dare he spoil me like this? So grateful. Get a boyfriend, guys. So this is Tommy Hilfiger jumper. He got it from ASOS because I really wanted it. And uh, it was out of stock. So, got it. I'm really happy. So yeah, on ASOS they might have it restocked, so get on there. So these are the trainers that he got me and they were, let me sit down, let me talk, let me have a chat with you. So I had these trainers in my ASOS saved and I just couldn't afford them. There was no way I could afford them and they were on my saved for like six months. <sighs> what, he didn't, I didn't even ask for them. Like he just knew, just knew me that well. So yeah, ASOS, that Adidas, the Adidas, what you, what you do is, so that's navy, <laughs> what you do is, so that's red and that's navy blue. And I just love them. I'm actually gonna wear them. I'm gonna wear them right now. Nah, no shoes in my room. I've got a white carpet. We wouldn't want that. I've moved around because my cleaning, I got really like, everything was messy and I was like I've got clean I need to do this I'm getting stressed out so what I was saying is I got this for Harvey for Christmas just this that was it I'm joking <laughs> I'm actually joking but obviously guys I think we all know it's not about the gifts absolutely not um I actually had such a like such a nice like family time Christmas it was my dad my mum they're super divorced I am very surprised there was no argument my auntie, my auntie's friend, my brother, my boyfriend and me. And every year there's an argument and it was just so nice. It was so, I just had, I don't know, like I don't want to get emotional. Why am I getting emotional? But like having, I live with my dad and in the evening having my mum watching TV and my dad, we're all watching a movie. So I have my mum, my dad, my brother, my boyfriend and me in the same room. And it just felt really like a family. And obviously my parents have been divorced since I was two. And it was just really nice. Um, yeah, it felt proper like a family and that doesn't normally happen. So it was really special. Like I'm just doing this video to show my like the presents I got, but yeah, that's a memory I always have. Also, I'm actually gonna put this at the start, but um, this is the end of the video. I say presents, like a prayer. I've always done it, literally since birth. Presents. I say presents in the weirdest way possible and everyone picks, like, picks me up on it, everyone. And I'm like, I think I'm saying it normally. Presents, presents, presents. Presents. I say presents and I don't even mean to. So if that irritates you, it irritates me too. What can we do? What can we do? So yeah, I hope you all had a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Christmas. If you have family arguments, I'm really sorry you had to go through that. That has literally been the past 22 years of my life. I feel like it's just such an intense day, isn't it? Like so much pressure, so much expectation. Like so many people that don't normally see each other 
high stress. I don't know why, but Christmas is so stressful. So yeah, if you had a family argument, you got 365 days to do it again and then you get earplugs for Christmas next year. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you when I see you. Bye.